In today's lesson, we are going to do all the keyboard shortcuts A through Z in Microsoft Word. So if you take a look, here are the keyboard shortcuts. We have Control A for select all. Control B is bold. C for copy. D font. E center. F find. G go to. H replace. I italics, J justify, K hyperlink, L left align, M move, N op new, O for open, control P print, Q remove formatting, R right, align, S save, T for tab, U for underline, W close, X cut, Y redo, Z undo. And then we have control one, two, and five, which we're gonna show you within some text, single space, double space, and 1.5 spacing. So what I want you to do is go grab some text. I have a paragraph here on pop smoke and a picture and the references and then the YouTube, no copyright reference as well. So we are going to start with control A and we're going to go down the alphabet. So control A is select all. So if I want to select everything and do control B for bold, if you notice control A, did you see everything go to bold? So let's say if we want to copy so we're going to go right down the alphabet, control C, we copied Pop Smoke's name, control V for paste. So that's copy paste. If we want to just copy Pop and we want to paste it a few times, we can do that as well. Control D, control D will bring the font dialog box up. So this we can change the text. So you would select the text you would want, control D. And let's say we want to change that to purple. So the title is now in purple. Control E will center your text. Control F is find and replace. Control G is go to, H is replace. So if you want to find the word pop, you want to replace it, let's say with smoke. So find pop, replace with smoke, you can replace all of them. So every time it said it made five replacements, every time it said pop, it changed it to smoke. So, so we have find, replace, control I. Let's select the title. Control I is italics. And select the paragraph, put it in italics. J is justify. Usually you would do this with paragraphs to make it all equally spaced up, up into the margins. Control K. I love control K. That's where you insert a hyperlink. So if we want to take this link the references we're going to copy this hyperlink let's say we want to link pop smoke we would highlight the text first and do control k so then we would paste that hyperlink right here so now the link is in our document so pop smoke this would take us to the wikipedia website so that's control k l left right and center b e. So control L is left align. Control M for move. Control N for new document. Just open a new document. And for new O, control O if you want to open a document. You don't want to control O. Uh -oh, let me go back. Oh, where's my file? Keyboard shortcuts. 
Okay, here we go. Going back, we had O. Now we're on Control P for print, the print dialog box appeared. Keep closing it out. Uh, we can go Control O for open. There's the new file for Control Open. We got pen, uh, P for print, remove formatting would be Control Q. So if we're in text, Control Q. We did R, Control R would be right align. Control S, if I do Control S because it's already saved, the print dialog box will not appear. It's just going to save it, resave it. So we saved it right on top of it. Control T for tab. Control U, underline. So let's underline the entire paragraph. And we have Control W, it will close it out. I'm not going to do that because the whole thing will close out. Control X if we wanted to cut. We just cut the paragraph. Control Y and Z. Y is redo. And if I just want to undo what I just did of cutting that paragraph, I would do Control Z for undo. And then the last three we have is Control one, two, and five. So control one is single space, control two is double space, and control five is 1.5 space. So I'm gonna control E, center this. Control B, unbold it. And then that's how you would practice. You can, it's already justified. Center. So the ones I use often are copy paste, control C, V, and I remember because they're both on the bottom row of the keyboard and they're close together. So copy, paste, print, save. I love using control E, center, control R, right align, control um, L for left align. And that's the A to Z. So the best thing to do is get some text and practice your A through Z keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Word. Thank you and please visit us, subscribe, www.thecomputerclassroom.online. There's a picture of our classroom and here, and on that website, you'll also find this document of all the keyboard shortcuts for you to review and study. Bye-bye.